finally get some good news on Sam. What does that mean to this team? Oh, uh, we get our starting quarterback back. Does he cover up a lot of the things that have been problematic because of his skill level? Uh, we got it, it was more than it's been more than just a quarterback, but you know, anytime you get your starting quarterback back, that's gonna that's gonna help you a lot. You know, we had a good good few days of you know practice last week. You know, and with him in there, and I think moving forward, it'll, that week is gonna pay off for us. How limited were you with Falk at quarterback as far as the plays that you can call compared to your starter? Well, I mean, we were we were kind of trying to make sure that we were going to we wanted to do a good job on 91 and 55. Obviously, that didn't go very well. So, we we were we were kind of limited just in general because we wanted to make sure that those guys didn't didn't go crazy and we just didn't do a very good job protecting the quarterback. Now you did make two changes to the offensive line last week. Will that continue to be a work in progress? Do you think those two guys will stay and, and what do you think the problem has been? Yeah, we're, we're going to keep just kind of moving things around, see who's healthy, see who's available. Kind of keep working different lineups in practice. You know, we're, we're going to look at as many, as many lineups as we need to until we get it right. Adam, a lot was made about the number of reps that Sam got with the number ones leading into the game. Was that you just betting he'd play, or is that just the case for a quarterback that has only played 13 games of the NFL that he still needs to get the snaps even if he's not going to play? Yeah, I mean, we were repping them both. I mean, we were at practice. Everybody saw both those guys get reps. I mean, we, we had an idea that... We could, it could be either one. That's how we game planned it. We had a couple things that were specific for Sam, but for the most part, we we made sure the game plan was is really was built for both of them. If you, I, I know you're not Joe Douglas, but if you had it to do over again after the uh, Trevor Simeon injury, would you guys have went out there and got another quarterback to help you out these last few games? Yeah, I mean we didn't. So that's that was just the decision that was made and. You know, we're at where we are right now, and Sam's back, so it's really irrelevant. Uh, we were we talked again this week about Le'Veon, um, who just has seemed to be such a warrior. Has he been an important? And, and, and by the way, Coach, you deserve credit too. As as rough as things have been, this team has not come a pa come apart locker room wise. How big a part has Le'Veon played in that? He's been, he's been outstanding. I, his work ethic, I, I wish people could see him practice. If they would see how he practices, it, it looks just like it does in a game. And there's a reason why he's one of the better running backs in the NFL. I mean, he gives 110% in practice. I mean, he is full go all the time. He tries to make sure that he does everything right. You know, it's, it's, it's very impressive to watch him work on a day-in and day-out basis. Now, yesterday's story came out that your your team held a players-only meeting and you know about staying together and not you know firing shots across the offense and the defense. As a coach, do you worry when players have a players-only meeting and the coaches don't know what's going on? Not not when it's those guys. I mean, when you have Steve McClendon, Jamal, CJ, like you got all these guys that you know are are all about trying to figure out a way to to win games. It's different than if you had a different different locker room. I mean, this this is a good locker room. These guys are good dudes. These guys these guys work hard. They try to do everything they can to to, to help us win. I mean, it, to me, I, I love the ownership that they're taking on this team. I mean, when you have things like that as a head coach, it's a it's a it's a good thing to have going on.